I just really encourage you, whatever you're going through, don't lose hope. Don't lose hope. He has a way. And when we um, get out of our own way and let God operate, it's really wonderful. It's really wonderful what he can do in our hearts and in our lives. Um, I don't know if you remember the movie Mr. Holland's Opus. Does anybody remember that movie? It was like in the early 90s. And uh, quick synopsis is about a man who is really into, I think he's a um, director. Is that the word you would call it? Band director? Anyway, it, orchestra. He wants to do it all big in the theater and stuff like that. Ends up getting a high school job. And um, not exactly where his life he thought he was going to end up. Ends up having this little boy. The little boy is deaf, which is just, imagine, you know, the irony of it and just the emotions of it. And he honestly doesn't really handle it all that well. He just kind of, um, I don't know how to say this. in a clear, uh, He doesn't do a great job of learning sign language. He just kind of half does it. Doesn't really fully learn how to communicate with the kid. Kind of puts his head in the sand, kind of busies himself with other things that he has going on and really doesn't spend time with his kid and getting to know his kid. He has resentment. He has anger. The kid starts growing up. He has resentment. He has anger. Why is this? Why My dad doesn't value me enough to learn how to communicate with me, have a relationship with me. But at the end of that movie, if anybody remembers, and the boy's in his teen years and there's all this hurt that's gone on, his father learns how to sign and sing, I believe it's from the Beatles, Beautiful, beautiful boy. And he sings it to his son. Beautiful, beautiful boy. My beautiful, beautiful boy. And it's amazing. And you know, it took him a while to get there. Didn't have all the right answers. Didn't treat his son the way he did. But you know, he got there. He did get there. But our Heavenly Father learns how to communicate with us. And he learns intentionally how to express his love to us. He doesn't get hung up on, oh, well, that, I don't, they don't speak the way I speak. They don't do things the way I do. God comes to us and learns our language and speaks to us the way that we hear it. That's how good he is. He wants to speak to us in a way that we feel it and that we understand it. If you ever do any studies on love language, one of the biggest things that you got to learn how to do is not to love people the way you want to be loved. Love people the way that they feel loved. And that's our creator. He loves us the way that we want to be loved. He loves us the way that we have been created to be loved. And it's different for every single one of us in here. And his desire is to love us in that manner. If we are blind to it, if we let anger and resentment cover our eyes and keep us, we'll miss out on the love that he has for us. Sometimes when somebody's trying to show their love to you and it's not the way you want it, you kind of reject it. You kind of just like, I don't know what you you want it precise. But that's kind of anger and resentment standing in the way of really fully experiencing what God has for us. He really, but when, I mean, anger is an addictive thing. And we can cover it up with all sorts of other addictive things, but at the root of it is anger. And it keeps us blinded from feeling God's love and expressing God's love in the way that he has. But God is so good to come and sit with us and to love us the way that we feel it the most. And so I really encourage you, get your blinders off. Deal with that anger. Deal with the resentment. It can keep you from what God really has for you. And he wants to shed his love on you. He wants to share the grace and the compassion that he has for us. And sometimes we have our blinders on to it and not even realizing that he's come down and learned our language to express his love to us. Don't reject it. But open up your arms and receive what he has. Like I said earlier, in the palm of his hand, he has healing. He's just ready for you to come grab it. He's not going to make you do anything. He's not even going to make you feel his love. You get to have free choice all along in every decision that we make on this earth. So we're going to take up our tithes and offerings if you just stand with me. Heavenly Father, I thank you for this community. I thank you for what you're doing already in this um, room. Lord, those words are so true. We oftentimes don't see it and we oftentimes don't feel it. But today I feel like we get a little glimpse of what you're doing, a little feeling that you are stirring people's hearts. You are healing people's hearts. You are making a way in the desert and you have good, good things for us. And 22 has stirred up a lot of anger and resentment in many of us, but we're going to finish it strong, full of hope and full of um, anticipation and of, of what you have for us in this next year. In your name I pray. Amen.